Well, we are a few months away from Christmas, but you may have noticed stores are already competing for your holiday dollars. It's a little annoying for most people, but starting the season early may save you a lot in the long run. Here to talk more about the benefits is financial professional Mindy McIntosh. Good morning, Mindy. Good morning. Glad to have you with us as always. Thanks for having me. So we haven't even gotten into October yet, and we're already talking about Christmas shopping. You say it's a good idea to start now. It sure is. Yeah, we see from time to time, year to year, 20% of holiday spending is made by retailers over the holiday season. So we see that continue to become earlier and earlier. I know it's prior to Halloween, but we are definitely saying, yep, okay, it's happening, it's here, let's start acknowledging it. And there are so many advantages to shopping early, you know, stretching out the, the your budget and also maybe getting more bang for your buck if you find good deals if you're a good bargain hunter how do you suggest budgeting what we do is we tell our clients all through the year let's set a budget let's stick to it so what they can do now is if we go ahead and set that track up currently they can buy some gifts even now still in September October November and December so they can kind of break up that budget with different paychecks as they come in so it's not a week or two before Christmas and now they're putting things on a credit card and that twenty dollar oh, gift after fees turns into forty dollars so $40. not a wise not a wise to wait I and mean, it can be as simple as putting aside fifty dollars twenty dollars ten dollars every paycheck you correct know? Yes. and then some stores offer layaways so mm -hmm. you can put it in the layaway as also uh, also if you start now what else should people consider before heading out to shop what we do is we like to give a simple guide for tips for how to people to budget shop mm -hmm. so if they go ahead and set a spending limit with our clients each and every year we go ahead and set up their budget for the whole year what are they putting in for savings what are they doing for investing how are they budgeting today what's the future look like holiday shopping should be no different so we don't want them to impulse buy or go off track they still need to set up a budget for that holiday shopping and we have a wealth budget tracker for clients that make it very convenient for them at our website at wealthmichigan.com. All right and also go for the gift cards possibly? Go for the gift card. Sometimes it seems like an easy way out but really it's a great way for we all have those teachers, um, you know bus drivers, maybe your post office services that we want to buy them something. We may not personally know all exactly their interests so a gift card is a great way to stick within your budget and avoid temptation as far as buying those gifts. And with everything there's always hidden or it seems like everything there's always hidden fees that you have to look out for you suggest doing a little research yes I suggest we be careful of different websites you use we see so many more people doing their shopping online now mm -hmm. so we just have to be careful they're using websites that are protected when you're entering in that credit card information or making those payments make sure there's not a little bottom line that's sending you to another site or really mm -hmm. high um, shipping charges on top of that another thing I noticed always look for that little lock at the top of the website to let yes. you know you're on the secure Here. Website, yes. Correct. Well, Mindy, great advice. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks it's for having always. me. We'll be right back.